I'm ready. So good to see you again, man. You too, man, yeah. This is Lowlands, this is your festival, right? Well, it was the first festival I ever played outside of Ireland, five years ago. And now you're back. I'm back, yeah. It's still as clean as ever, and it's relaxed, and it's a beautiful atmosphere. You need to be relaxed when you play at one o'clock in the afternoon, I think. Yeah, well, it was a good start to the day. I think people on the last day of the festival just getting out of bed. And we just eased into it, you know. But we played mostly new songs, so it felt good. Uh, the band is in a great place, and it's just great to be back on the road again. And, and also feeling more uh, just equipped for festivals and, and gigs in general now, you know. How many did you do this summer? How many festivals? Didn't do that many, to be honest. We did Galway Arts Festival in Ireland. Um, I did some in the UK myself. Um, I can't really think because I'm just off stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, head yeah. is just <laughs> still on stage, but no. But you play new songs. That's exciting to try them out now because yeah. the last years you wrote new songs and there wasn't a lot of there weren't a lot of gigs. But now you can play them when you write them. Yeah, I wrote. I mean, I released two albums and I couldn't really tour them, but. The songs that we played today were off an album that will come out next year, but I'm going to release another album this year. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like primitive and it's 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 called crude. I'm going to be announcing that next week, and because I'm going to be on tour for the rest of the year just on my own without the band. Wow. And this record is only going to be released on vinyl. Oh, really? Just on vinyl, 500 copies. It's like. World exclusive it's free, final. It's, yeah, yeah, no, and the, and then I can focus on the band thing in the new year. You know, but it's good, Jasper, to be here, be alive, and you know, like just to feel grateful and ready. You know, how how early do you need to wake up for a show like this? Well, we left uh, Groningen at six o'clock this morning. Really? Yeah, yeah. Did you get any sleep? Got a few hours sleep, you know, but like. That's the festival song. We're all on a healthy buzz now. We're all, yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all like yoga and <laughs> meditation instead of alcohol and the other stuff now. Can we ever expect a David Keenan meditation tape with just instrumental well, no, music? Wim Hof has it all has it all taken care of. You know, you know Wim Hof. Yeah, yeah. He's we're all big fans of Wim Hof. We do. Yeah, the, we, do the, we do the breathing before we go on stage. Oh wow! Yeah, no, it's ama it's amazing. It just brings you into the present and out of the, the nervous energy. You just have fun. So if Wim Hof listens to Kink, we're all big fans. Thank you, Wim Hof. <laughs> but does that work on a festival like this? Because there's a lot of noise everywhere. Yeah, well, I think it's just, it's, about, it's not about trying to be louder than the next tent, or it's just about being in your space where you are and uh, being present. Because if you're off in your head, I've done a lot of gigs like that where I, I couldn't be present. Because you're thinking about how you're going to be judged. But now, releasing music, making music first, releasing music, playing music, it's about what it gives me. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's a great place to be. That's, that's taken a few years to get to that place. Yeah. So, and now you're there. Yeah, or, here, are you there? Or do you need to learn more about this? Oh, uh, no, absolutely. I need to learn. I'm such a. Uh, a beginner like those new songs we didn't even rehearse those songs we just we just played them wow. live the band are great but there's so much to explore and now it feels like you can get some momentum instead of guessing you know i mean you never know what, what could happen but uh like i said i released two albums and i couldn't tour them so i never got a chance to really build any kind of momentum you know so now it feels like there is that opportunity to tour more and if I can get more gigs I can bring the band through Europe you know and cover the costs and yeah so. is it is it hard to tour now with a band because yeah yeah it really is it really is I mean just 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 what you get for a, a fee would well, you know for me anyway personally if I if I put the band that the fee would be gone on accommodation wow so I mean I'm a, I'm an independent you know I'm, I'm self-releasing music and I'm I kind of manage myself so there's no big record label pumping money into it but that that's good it means you have to be diy and you have to you have to work you know and and it works yeah 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 and it's it's yeah it's it's fulfilling man do you know um this new record that i'm going to release in november crude it's my first release on my own label 
And Exciting. It's, it's a creative kind of freedom because getting that bit older and be able to go, no, no, now I can align with being honest, you know, with my music and that takes time you just have to grow up and kind of get, get believe in yourself you know so you're you are your own record label you are on tour you <laughs> plan everything yourself is there ever a day off in the life of david keenan oh uh, yeah big time there is days off what yeah. do you do on a day off um what do i do i watch uh father ted it's an <laughs> ah, it's an nice. you know her father ted yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um go for a run uh, just do very little on a day off. Um, I'm learning to drive at the minute, so I'm trying to, trying to learn how to drive a car. Oh, I need to do it myself as yeah, well. Yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's taking up a bit of time. Are you ready for this autumn? Because there are coming some big shows as well. A lot of stadium shows with the Cannon Crows, right? Yeah, yeah. In and the, the Netherlands as well. Yeah, in the office, I think, yeah. in Amsterdam, yeah. I did that once before. It was amazing. But uh, I am ready. Like, I'm, I feel healthy. My head, my head as well. Um, and I'm just trying to prepare for that tour, get fit so I can enjoy it. Yeah. Because if you're not like caning it every night, if you're not, you know, you gotta be, you just, you have to be kind of, if you want to enjoy the gigs, you have to be kind of mentally and physically in some sort of place. I, you know, I'm not in a big, I'm not in a, in a, in a, in a post punk band. I can't get yeah. away with like being a bowsy. I, I can't get away with it. It's all, I have to be. And if you would like to do this for years and years yeah, and years, yeah. it's good well, to do that as well. Yeah, there's in that this as state. well, serving the work. Was, um, it's great. Like I said, I don't have a label, so playing in, playing in all those places with Count Crows, it's a chance to just be heard and get the new music out there to to the bigger audience and just to have work as well, man. Because as long as there's work in the books, you know that you're going to be all right for the next few months. You know? I can't wait for this new record. Finally, we got a record player in our studio, so okay, we can play you, this. We can play it on vinyl in our studio. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you one. Perfect. I'll send you one. I'll be in Rotterdam as well in September. And, uh, if you want to come along to the office, arena gig. Sounds good. Let me know. <laughs> good to see you again, David. You too, brother. Thanks for your support.